I see no goodness, or any value to be gained for humans in this food chain. Warning this information may be hard to take for many as IT contains the facts for real regarding life and death, and the world we live in, and IT may be disturbing information for many. I have worked hard to find any real meaning to life in this realm, as all I see is a trap at every corner of our endless struggle, and endeavors to create a happy life for ourselves and families in this false construct. How can life have any meaning if in the end our physical bodies, and everything you build become dust in the wind? Ask yourself this question, do cows, or the many animals we raise for food have a good life, or do they even know what is happening? This is really our situation, we have been conditioned to live in this holographic animated construct for millions of years, and we have no idea who we really are. We have been trapped for so many generations that we have forgotten long ago where we came from, and how we used to live. We now have all the evidence we are living in a very sophisticated computer program, a moon matrix where large computers have been installed on a galactic level, very advanced, most likely millions of years in advance. We humans are a great product, we have been placed in these flesh pack containers because they can harvest the energy we put out every day into this Saturn matrix. Religion, and politics is at the heart of the deception, which is erected in many forms we find placed strategically across this earth and plane, and on critical points, ley lines, where this energy flows through like a conduit. Moreover, the pyramids are constantly emitting orbs across the globe that contain talisman-like spells, a package being delivered to all life on planet Earth 24-7. Then we see the same satanic symbolism in our architecture. And of course these charged icons, logos are used in everything by the Satanist, the Hermdist, that run the world and own the multiple corporations that use this black magic brainwashing tool to sell their goods. Also now used by media government to brainwash the populace, and they have bragged they have perfected it. Most people are completely under this government's control. They will not admit that, but this is a fact. The corporate logos are actually charged with a spell, and when one is exposed to it they are under that spell whether they know it or not. This entire realm is a construct to enslave us to make use of our energy for these entities to live on, just as we raise food. Those running the world have been promised the life they now live, rich and powerful, and eternal life of course and who knows what else. The Vatican is totally involved. Then when we supposedly die they feed on our silver cord, the sutratna or life thread of the Antakarana, and then we are processed back through the moon matrix system, and our memories are wiped clean. Now at this point we have already been tricked into a new life contract here on earth by the life review guilt trip they placed on us, when we first died supposedly. And there is the key, you never die, they just create the illusion to frighten us into this paradigm of life and death, a fear-based virtual reality program that knows the most intimate aspect about our psyche, and they are exploiting it as much as we do to raise food. I do not think it has always been this way. And it appears we are within an animation, within animations, and it could be multiple levels. Studies show a civilization by technology destroys itself by its ignorance when it reaches a certain point, and looking at this material consumer satanic based construct, this may be purposeful. As they have made everything here based on life and death, that is blood sacrifice. Therefore, I do not think people that commit suicide are doing such a bad thing. It may be that their subconscious minds have realized they are trapped here, and this is the way to freedom. I know people will hate me for saying that, and I am not advocating suicide but it is not as bad as people may think. Moreover, if this is a computer program, which quanta proves this by the fact that we actually take action to do something before we think it, and that would be consistent with the arrow of time, in that we are moving backwards in time. So if you ran a pre-recorded program in the real time of this animated construct by science it would run backwards. That would explain why everything is relative to the observer in the double slit experiment, and that we are the creators by this mirrored neuron construct they created within this program. That would also be consistent with a loop, a false time space continuum, and this is why we can never figure out this universe because it is a computer program designed to keep us in a never ending loop of confusion. Thus, we must be the flame, not the moth. www.youtube.com web link. What a conundrum. Dash. Proof the earth is flat and we live under a dome in a food farm, and we are the food. Stephen Payne Middle. Saturday, May 21, 2,016,100 reads. Everyone has reptilian core to their brain responsible for fight or flight. Humans are the slave slash food class. You kid yourself. Quasi luminous. Note be sure any ideas that this so-called firmament is placed here by a benevolent god is erroneous by historical and scientific facts, thus, as we have already uncovered. The Bible is Satan's book, so whoever placed, this dome over US and placed US in this moon matrix is yes most likely the author of the Bible, and all religious text, that is the pyramid text. Please see full transcript below for all the links and cited sources. Saturn, Moon Matrix Slash Sun, Stargate Connection Part 1, 2. 
www.youtube.com with link. Proof Earth is not a planet. www.youtube.com with link. Etc. Christians should be careful not to just believe in such a demonic trick before you investigate with only your blind faith. What benevolent fiend would dare place us in such a farm where everything is a blood sacrifice, a food chain? Open your eyes people. Look at the misery this world has seen. After finding out this information who wants to live in this matrix of total control by madmen? This is cause for a revolution to remove this firmament and restore our world if at all possible. IT may be that IT can only be done from the other side by someone with a great knowledge of mentalism above all others. I believe this is how this was done of course when these pyramids were installed. How about this theory? That our world does exist still outside this matrix, but those here have been trapped in this food chain, as we were captured, or sent to this artificial hell. www.facebook.com would link. This would be consistent with the animation construct. A flat earth and plane with a 3D virtual reality superimposed on IT. A hemoglobin based 4D virtual reality human farm, and yes, we are the food. Dash. This matrix we live in appears to be designed to purposely destroy souls, and is there any meaning to life? Stephen Payne. May 3, 2016. If one looks at this world as it really is, taking in all the information one would need to calculate such a cosmic answer, that is to say, the truth of how life and death really function, that is what happens when I die? A thing hard to equate in terms of what value does my life have cosmically, what is the meaning of life? Thus, I have come to see that as hard as it is to hear, or understand, life has little meaning to a slave, and once you do look at all the information that is at your fingertips by the way, one can only come to one conclusion. That we have been placed in an holographic computer animation construct, and we are in much the same situation depicted in the movie The Matrix, just to give people an idea of what we are really dealing with. The ancient texts state we lived to be thousands of years old at one time, and even hundreds of years old, but now our lives have been shortened drastically, and by design by DNA manipulation, shortening our lifespans to a meaningless age, where no one has a chance to figure out what has happened to them, and if they do they will be isolated and destroyed as they always do to those that get a clue, and thus it is impossible for the masses to ever really know. Thus, I believe life in this realm is virtually meaningless, just endless birth and death with no real meaning. Meaningless strings of working to satisfy our hunger, or the multiple desires that lead to more desires and on. It makes us create bad karma in this realm so we have created the cause for rebirth here whether we like it or not, so once you're trapped here it is virtually impossible to get out by the karma one naturally creates here. What is really achieved at your life's end? We become dust in the wind in this realm, and who will really remember you even after a decade? Thus, this realm is filled with the endless pursuit of money for food and things we need to survive, or desire. But in the end what meaning can life have cosmically or karmically? No one can build anything really in 50 to 100 years, especially in total poverty their entire lives. Now if you lived hundreds of years, one could build generations of families and wonderful things. We see the elite enjoy generations of families and the best of the best, but even they are slaves by slaves. The layers of control run deep and what I say that the people should endeavor to unravel this deception once and for all, and thus take back our world, our universe. That should be a person's most important priority preparing for their next life. Now of course we have to try and live positive, but knowing this truth is the most positive to me because as now I am awake and working on what is the most important thing a human being should do, that is to say, unravel this mass deception, no one should be caught in such a snare, a web of such satanic proportion. And as the ancient texts state, we can say no, but we make contracts with the parasites that run this realm and thus we are reborn here over and over. This matrix we live in appears to be designed to purposely destroy souls to trap them here perpetually, except only for a few that may be so lucky to figure it all out after many lifetimes, and thus awaken to the maze of deception and escape. But once you know the truth, you are free for eternity. This I believe is the real philosopher's stone. Absolute freedom in life, and death by knowledge of the universe as it really is, and thus being able to traverse it without getting trapped in Saturn worship or burned by the multiple layers of traps of the humankind within our own desire and psyche that is fueled by the eight winds as Buddha described. I believe Buddha was right when he stated we roam in this realm free and being reborn this and that. Falling to the lowest hell at times, and reaching the highest point even to the ninth dharma realm, but never able to escape by our own dogma within religion, politics or whatever may snag us, where even Buddhism itself is a trap. A narrow path indeed, a narrow path indeed. Thus, it appears we clearly have been imprisoned here in the people that run this prison planet, the now and WO police state are the managers of us, that are managed by others high up, that are managed by others, and so on. Thus, life has little meaning when you have been captured against your will, 
and forced into a food matrix, where you have been enslaved for eternity, and tricked into thinking it is where you belong, an industrialized consumer-based world, based on satanic principles that destroy and kill everything. I studied all the information, I analyzed it carefully for years, and these are the facts, as cold and hard as it is to take. We are prisoners, and we are going to slaughter when we die if we believe in Saturn worship of any kind, and do not take the time to figure the way out. In sincere reflection. Thank <laughs> you.